what's going on guys Texas Triple Tapper here uh, as promised I'm going to show you guys uh, how to clean a Mont Blanc 149 Miser Stuck fountain pen so what I've done here is uh, taken uh, a glass and filled it up with uh, some distilled water okay so we're just going to open the box here, get all this stuff out of the way, push this over to the side. And first things first is we're just going to um, start to drain out the old ink. And I'm just going to kind of submerge this. So you already see some of the ink starting to come out, but when I start to... See, you see more of it flow out. And it's turning pretty black. Mont Blanc recommends that you do this um, about every three months um, just to uh, keep the piston clean and keep the ink flowing well so that there's no issues. And like I said, I just prefer to use distilled water so what I'm going to do is just submerge this back and forth a few times and then until the water runs clean but I'm not going to show uh, the entire process because it you know might take a few minutes and I'm sure you guys don't want to stare at me just cleaning out ink out of a piston so we'll cut away and come back when the water's running running pretty clear all right guys so got all the old ink out got the water draining clear got it uh, nice and dry so I had a um, what do they call it the mystery black is what I had in there before so now just to change it up, we're going to go with royal blue. And notice that, uh, as I had said in the other video, that you know you want to use Mont Blanc ink. That's what they recommend. I mean, of course, that's what they recommend. That's what they want you to buy. I don't know if it has any uh, further implications as far as uh, you know, uh, voiding warranties or anything like that. But hey, I mean, you know, if you're going to spend, you know. 1100 bucks or so on a pen I mean you know some uh, Mont Blanc ink isn't isn't going to break your break your budget okay so basically what we're doing here is we're just taking this off oh and I guess this part had kind of come off in the way it was in there which is fine no big deal that's why I keep these towels handy. So, just kind of tap that down in place. It's okay. So, what we're going to do is just dip the nib down into the ink. You can kind of sort of hear it. Let's see if I can show. Uh, not without moving it too much. So there you go you know you kind of got it going when the ink starts flowing pretty well after you uh, crack the seal and you see a couple of a couple of drops running through that's when you kind of know that it's kind of ready so plus you can take a 
light here and kind of shine it into the barrel there and kind of see that there's not really anything translucent it's not showing through so it looks like it's pretty full but I'm gonna do the process one more time and then of course see I got a bunch of ink on the nib I'm gonna kind of scrape some of that off going around there's a bunch of ink too on the back see all that inks kind of just running down the sides there that's all from the back this part back here this graded part which you actually don't put your fingers there to write with so it's not that big of a deal but I like to clean that off anyway because you know over time this stuff can kind of build up and I don't know then it's just one more thing that you know you've really got to worry about cleaning and um, I just prefer to kind of deal with it as it as it happens so so now what I'm gonna do make sure that my my barrel is closed I'm just gonna set that down there on here and you can kind of see that it's you've got the blue ink blue ink black ink I'm just gonna kind of set it down there while I put this lid back on here get that there this back and it's a nice little Mont Blanc box. Close that. There's my other one. Move that out of the way. So now I'm just going to kind of clean up around the back part of it. You see there's a lot of ink coming off the back there and I'll just go over um, the front part as well. You know, try to be, you don't have to be super, super, super delicate, but I mean, this nib is uh, made out of fine metal, so it can be um, particularly uh, soft. So just be careful. And just going to kind of give it a good clean here. Got most of that blue off the back we go over the top yeah and it never fails I always get some on my fingers so what I'm actually going to do is throw that one away and just move on to a whole nother one I generally steal these from hotels that I stay in yeah, I know I'm bad, but whatever. I spend a lot of money at hotels. Don't judge me. Okay, so that's it's actually looking looking pretty good. So I'm gonna put the put the cap on here, and um, I am going to find. I'm gonna get a uh, little piece of uh, same kind of paper I had used the other day. The the tool. It seems to work well for the pen. Get one of those. Push this out of the way. And I will see what she looks like. Beautiful. Yeah, I mean, it's great. It doesn't have any skips or anything like that. I mean, it just, you know, goes back to the way it was. And, you know, 20 minutes ago, it had black ink in it, and now it's got blue ink. And it's just that simple. So, you know, like I said, whether or not you want to change the ink or keep the same ink, 
you still need to do this kind of process, like I said, like Mont Blanc suggests, about every about every three months. Um, what I would suggest too is that if you're getting, if you know you're getting towards the end, and you know before you would do a complete refill, and you maybe, you know, only have like two weeks or something left, I wouldn't even you know do a complete refill. I'd just go ahead and if you know you're running low, just go ahead and clean it. And if it's only been two months no big deal you know you want to try to cut down on wasting ink as much as possible so hope you guys enjoyed this video hope it was helpful um, hopefully you guys will uh, be able to put it to use and keep your Mont Blanc writing instruments writing forever until next time thanks to Triple Tapper out <laughs>